guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute bottle cap charms. So, let's get started. The supplies you're going to be needing for each one is Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and a bottle cap. So, let's get started. The first one, a sticker and your bottle cap and your Dimensional Magic. Start by taking your Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and your bottle cap and putting some of your Mod Podge in the bottom of the bottle cap. Then take your glitter and put it into the bottle cap. Now take a toothpick and mix it all up. Once you've got the glitter mixed up evenly, go ahead and add your sticker. Make sure that you place it in the middle. Now go ahead and let this dry. For the next bottle cap, you're going to be needing your bottle cap, of course, your Mod Podge, and some glitter glue. I'm just using this Crayola brand Pip Squeaks. You can use as many colors as you'd like. Start with your first color and squeeze it into the bottom of your bottle cap. Once you've gotten your first color in there, go ahead and add the others or you can just use one color. If you just use one color, make sure to spread it all around the bottom of the bottle cap. Once you've got the glitter glue in the bottom of your bottle cap, take some Mod Podge and put it on top. Now let your bottle cap dry for about three hours or it may take a little bit longer depending on how much you put on top. For the next bottle cap, you're gonna be needing your bottle cap, your Mod Podge, and some sort of one inch circle that you can print off on the internet. Start by cutting out your image. Once you've gotten your image cut out, take your bottle cap and put a little bit of Mod Podge in the bottom of it. Then take your image and place it in the bottom of the bottle cap. Take some more Mod Podge and put it on top. Now just let this dry for about three hours. For the next bottle cap, you're gonna be needing, of course, Mod Podge, your bottle cap, some scrapbook paper, and some stickers. Start by either tracing some sort of object that is one inch around or tracing your bottle cap or using a one inch paper punch to cut out your scrapbook circle. Once you have cut or punched your circle out of scrapbook paper, take a sticker and place on top of your scrapbook paper. Once you have done that, take your bottle cap and squirt some Mod Podge in the bottom. Then take your scrapbook circle and press that into the bottom of your bottle cap. Now, take some more Mod Podge and place over top. Now, again, let this dry for about three hours. For the last one, you're going to need your bottle cap, your Mod Podge, some puffy paint, and optional as a sticker or a rhinestone. Start by squeezing your puffy paint into the bottom of the bottle cap. Once you have done that, you can leave it how it is and let it dry, or you can add a rhinestone or a sticker. I am going to be using a sticker. Once you have placed your sticker or rhinestone, let your puppy paint dry for about four hours. 